Hi guys, this is a little house on the prairie book called Sugar Snow. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. They had a little cat. They have a cat too. Spring was coming to the big woods. For days the sun shone and the weather was warm. All day the icicles fell one by one from the little house into the snow banks. Just like today, the snow was melting here. Mm -hmm. Then one day, Laura saw a patch of ground showing through the snow. May I go out to play, Ma? She asked. You may tomorrow, Ma promised. That night, Laura woke up shivering. Her nose was icy cold. Ma tucked another quilt around her. Snuggle close to Mary, Ma said, and you'll get warm. In the morning, Laura looked out the window, and the ground was covered with soft, thick snow. Pa came in, stamping the soft snow from his boots. It's a sugar snow, he said. Laura quickly tasted a snowflake from Pa's sleeve, but it didn't taste like sugar at all. Why is it a sugar snow, Pa? she asked. Pa said he would explain tonight after he came home from Grandpa's. It was late when Pa came home that night. He came in with a big bucket and two little packages. He gave the bucket to Ma and the little packages to Laura and Mary. The bucket was full of dark brown maple syrup. When Laura opened her little package, she found a little hard brown cake with beautifully crinkled edges. Laura bit off one little crinkle, and it was sweet. It's maple sugar, said Pa. Supper was ready, and Laura and Mary laid their little maple sugar cakes by their plates while they ate the maple syrup on their bread. After supper, Pa took them on his knees as he sat by the fire and told them about his day at Grandpa's and the sugar snow. All winter, Pa said, Grandpa has been making wooden buckets for the maple syrup. When the first warm weather came, he took the buckets out into the woods and put each one by a maple tree. Then he drilled a small hole in the tree so that the sap could run out. After all the buckets were full, he boiled all the sap in a big iron kettle until it turned into maple syrup. Then he cooled some of that sweet syrup into cakes of hard brown maple sugar. Is that why it's called a sugar snow? Because grandpa made sugar? asked Laura. No, said Pa, it's called a sugar snow because a snow at this time of year helps the trees to make more sap for the syrup. Then it was time for bed. By the time Laura and Mary had washed their sticky fingers and were snug in their beds, Pa and his fiddle were both singing them off to sleep. This story tonight is called The Best Present. That's what I did today, didn't I? I hung clothes on the line. Yep. Out in the deep snow, but it was so warm out, I just had to do it. Yep. It was Mama's birthday. What can I get you for a present? Little Elephant asked. Mama was busy washing clothes. You don't need to get me anything, she said. Here, Mama, said Little Elephant. He handed her a scrub brush. What would you like for a birthday present? Asked Little Elephant. But Mama was busy making dinner. I'll help, Mama, said Little Elephant. He set the table. What can I get you? Little Elephant asked again. Mama was busy rocking the baby. I don't need a present, Little Elephant. 
Here, Mama, said Little Elephant. He handed her a blanket for the baby. Little Elephant sat on the floor. A tear slid down his cheek. What's wrong, Little Elephant, asked Mama. I didn't give you anything for your birthday, he sighed. Oh, my sweet little elephant, Mama said. Yes, you did. What do you mean, he asked. You gave me your help all day long. That's the best present ever. Then I have one more present, he said. And he gave Mama a great big hug. Oh, snuggle time. Give, and it will be given to you. That's found in Luke 6, verse 38. Prayer. Thank you, God, for all the wonderful things you give to me every day. Please help me to learn how I can give to others. Amen. Snuggle word. When you snuggle into bed, think about the Bible word give, because God loves you he has given you wonderful gifts. Thank him for the gifts he has given you. How can you give to others to show them your love? Good night. Good night.